In today's video, I received a box full of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video where I am opening this box that we just received. This contains a lot of old school packs. So the guy that sold me this hit me up and he's like, hey, my dad used to have a store back in the 80s and it ran all the way till the early 2000s. It had some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff involved. I saw you do Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't care about Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm talking as him, so he doesn't care about Yu-Gi-Oh. So I was wondering if you wanted to purchase any. He gave me a list. It's a bunch of cool stuff. I'm not gonna spoil it yet. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. He was like, okay, cool. I'm not that interested in Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'll just I'll send it off to you and you can buy it. So he was like, heck yeah, I'm down. So that's what's happened. That's how we've gotten to this point. And I've not seen any of this product yet, but a lot of it's stuff that I've never bought before. So get excited. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Harpy Queen Lost Art Sealed. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite item in the collection. And what do you want to see opened? All right, let's get this box open, see what's inside. Uh, Why does this look like it's a factory seal? I guess it's not though, because I don't think we, I don't think you have anything. Uh, oh, we'll find out. I don't think anything we bought was like factory sealed in a box like this, but who knows? We'll see what this is. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, here, here we're talking right off the bat. As you can see, there is some sealed items right here. Let me just show you what they are. So first of all, we have a Legacy of Darkness Unlimited booster box. This is a factory sealed. So this is like old school 2003. Yeah, not first ed, but very, very cool item. Some of these sealed items like these boxes will be available on ruxin34.com. So go check it out down below. If you guys have not checked out my website before, I have a lot of items on there. PSA graded cards, sealed booster boxes, empty booster boxes for your collection, lots and lots of stuff. So go check it out if you want some vintage Yu-Gi-Oh product. And uh, yeah, this Legacy of Darkness will probably be on it. This looks really nice, has a little sticker on there so used to be 72 dollars wow uh it's not 72 dollars this time all right legacy of darkness very cool let's see what the next thing is we have another legacy of darkness box we have two unlimited lod that's pretty amazing that one also used to be 72 bucks it looks like it would come off if you wanted it to but it's also kind of cool to be on there the vintage uh vintage sticker and because this is a uh, 24 pack box it'll have yada inside if you do open it so two Legacy of Darkness booster boxes, not packs, booster boxes sealed right there. Okay, and there's one more booster box sealed. So this one is actually really awesome. I don't know if I've ever owned one of these. It is another unlimited box, but Invasion of Chaos. So 2004 Invasion of Chaos sealed box. This is not 25th anniversary, guys. You know, 25th anniversary just came out. This is an original 2004 Invasion of Chaos box. There's a little, little crease there, but Honestly, in pretty good shape. Looks pretty new. That is pretty awesome. First, that would have been really crazy, but Unlimited is still really, really awesome. All right, next, there's another box inside of a box. So let's unbubble wrap it. Man, there's some good packaging. I'm not going to lie. All right, so big shout out to Steve, by the way, who's the guy who sold me these. So Steve, you did a great job packaging these. Let's get this stuff out. Okay, I think I know what this is. All right, these are also bubble wrapped as well, but I think these are open boxes of Duelist packs. So I think this is Zane, if I can, can't really tell. Uh, let's see. No, exclusive pack, not Zane. Exclusive pack. So they used to come in these like stand up boxes, kind of like the Japanese OCG product. It's a bunch of exclusive pack, which all have the same cards inside. So like, you know, not super crazy to open because they always have these sphinxes and stuff like that, but still really cool and vintage. I don't even know why they made this set. It's very weird, but uh, yeah, they're old school stuff. Here's the duelist pack. That's why I thought it was Zane. This is Jade and Yuki. So we have not a sealed box. These are actually really rare sealed boxes, but open packs are not, you know, you can't really pull much out of them. So the packs themselves are not that expensive. All right, there we go. Got it open. That did not want to come off. Okay. All right. We have some first ed Jaden Yuki. So I know a lot of people like Jaden, you know, because he's classic. He's duelist pack. You know, some of these, I mean, they're not in a sealed box, but these might go up for sale because, you know, there's not a lot of huge pulls. So it's more of like a collector's thing if you want to collect some Jaden Yuki. I know some people really like those GX packs. I don't really open them too much because it's like the best card's like one ultra and it's like, you know, they're not, there's not a big chase, you know? Okay, another box. Uh, we have not gotten to the part, uh, the, the packs that I've never opened before yet, which there's, there's a guess, there's a uh, little hint there. I've never opened the pack before. That should give away something because uh, you guys might figure it out. If you guys, uh, you know, use your brain brain deduce what I'm talking about. If I've never opened it before, that gives you a big hint into what it is. Now put your guesses in the comments. See if you can get it right before you see what it is. So I think this, this could be it. Let's see. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this could be it. So first one. Okay. I did get Zane. I thought I got Zane. So this is not what I was talking about, but there is some Zane packs. 
No, Chaz. Never mind. Okay, maybe I didn't buy Zane. Okay, where did I see Zane recently? Okay, Chaz. The Chaz. I think Chaz and Jaden came out around the same time. That's probably why uh, these are together, but this is not one. To... So I guess he had this store until when? Like Chaz and Jaden probably came out late 2000s. So I'm like 2008 or something, 2009. No, G no, GX. GX lasted till 2008, 2009. So maybe they did come out a little bit before that. The Chaz first ed. 30 packs per box, six card per pack. Looks like we have, you know, about half of them, a little bit, a little bit more than that. Very cool. Open box. Very awesome. That's all that was in this one, though. There are more packs. So we're getting to the ones I haven't opened. Not these. We have Rise of Destiny first, Ed. We've opened plenty of those, but very cool packs. Rise of Destiny. Maybe we'll get an ulti out of there. Uh, let's just skip the ones I haven't opened. Let's go to Invasion of Chaos Unlimited. We have a few packs of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are original prints. So maybe we can get the CED, BLS, something like that, and Unlimited. That'd be pretty amazing. Here are the ones that I've never opened, or at least some of these. Big hint. What's the big hint? I've opened every TCG pack before. I've never opened some of these OCG. So Booster Chronicle. Don't know if I've ever opened Booster Chronicle. We have several of these packs so we're talking japanese ocg old school packs right there booster chronicle that's not it we have pharaoh servant this i'm like pretty sure i've never opened pharaoh servant we did open thousand eyes bible go check that video out if you haven't seen it we talked about how you know the tcg sets are like combinations of two japanese sets a lot of the time pharaoh servant and thousand eyes bible made pharaoh servant i believe i'm right about that so three six eight so eight of those so they have like half the pharaoh servant set in there and speaking of thousand eyes bible i have opened these because i've opened a booster box but remember how hard it was to pull foils out of there so if i do open these i probably am expecting nothing because we opened a box it's got like three total foils so it's very hard to pull stuff but if you do get that ulti thousand eyes it'd be pretty amazing okay i'm gonna save those for last we have a labyrinth of nightmare ocg pack so l-o-n i mean that is so cool because like labyrinth of nightmare we got in tcg but this is like half of the set and they're in labyrinth of nightmare then magic ruler in the ocg and then metal raiders we have open metal raiders we have a whole box of that go check that one out pulled a little few more foils in that one but Magic Ruler, Metal Raiders, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Pharaoh Servant, all the TCG sets in the OCG version is pretty awesome. And then finally, you might have been thinking, maybe he got him. I did. Spell of Mask. These were by far the most expensive of the Japanese ones, because if you don't know, these contain potentially the ultimate rare Blue Eyes White Dragon, which I have the PSA 10. You guys have seen it on the PSA videos. Uh, we'll try to pop it up on the screen. But yeah, this is a really awesome awesome card that you could potentially get out of here so these were really expensive by the way so hopefully we're probably going to be opening those in a video all right that's not it we have one more box uh I, i'm trying to remember what else was in here but there was something all right one more box that i got to open up and see what is inside but so far i mean some amazing amazing items that are gonna be super fun to open on the channel some will be open some will be for sale on ruxon34.com so go check it out those japanese packs are probably going to get open on the channel oh we got Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. This is one of the biggest things we got. Okay, first of all, we have First Ed Invasion of Chaos, $3.75 per pack. So can you imagine that? First Ed Invasion, by the way, this is not completely full. There are five packs inside. So five packs. He actually said he weighed these. So I don't know, like, with what he weighed. But he said one of them was heavy. I don't know. It's hard to really tell if you don't have a box. But I guess it was heavier than the others. Uh, I, th I think that was the only one he weighed was Invasion of Chaos because it was first dead. Uh, so there should be one heavy pack in there and some light packs. So because these are already weighed, I might weigh out that heavy pack myself. And then if you are interested in a light pack, I'll have four of those. So we'll see if it checks out with what he said. But very, very cool. At least one Invasion of Chaos pack will be open. Hopefully it's heavy and has CED in it. It's out of a 24 pack box, so it could be the right or it has to be the right secret. Never mind. I'm stupid. What? What? Invade? This is only 24 pack. Wait, let's check the check the code okay that's the code i don't know this one off the top of my head so we'll see if that's a ced box or not i, I don't know why i was saying invasion of chaos on a 36 pack box because they stopped right before invasion of chaos the 10th set the ninth set dcr did have a 36 so they stopped right there okay we have uh what is this some um, uh lod with a few packs inside so these are unlimited again so they had a lot of lod which you know lod was printed a lot more than some of those other ones so this was only 50 cents less for LOD. So I'm definitely picking up those if I was around back then, for sure. All right, we have two more. One is Pharaonic Guardian Unlimited, which there are several packs inside. I'm, I'm not going to go. Oh, there they are. Just Yeah, probably like 12 packs or something like that. I don't remember the number. 
but 350. So it's okay, interesting. They're about 25 cents difference. And finally, one I don't know, I don't know how I forgot about this. Magician's Force. So this is opened, obviously, but there are 24 packs inside. This is a full unlimited Magician's Force box, basically. I don't know if they were mixed from other boxes or anything like that. That's possible, but this seems like it was opened up and none of the packs were ever sold. So uh, because this does have a 36 pack box, if these are all from this box, you get a good chance of the DMG out of one of these packs. So I'm super excited about this. We will definitely be opening all of these on the channel at some point. So MFC coming up in the future. Very exciting. And we're not just going to leave this video without opening a couple packs. So let me grab a few. All right. And because I know you guys uh, love the GX stuff, we'll open a couple of duelist pack. We'll open a couple of these original Invasion of Chaos, and then we'll open a first ed Rise of Destiny. That's what we're going to open up for this video. There's a lot of cool stuff in this video that will be opened in the future. And if you are interested in some of it, some of it will be on Ruxin34.com. So go check out my website right now. There's a lot of good stuff available. Let's see what we can get out of Chaz Princeton. What's going on, Chaz? The Chaz. We have Z Metal Tank. Oh, Jama Trio. Okay, no foil yet. VW Tiger Catapult. So no foil in that one. That's okay. Y Dragon Head. We got a Z Metal Tank, a V Tiger Jet, and a Y Dragon Head. The V, Y, and Z. All we need is X and then the W, I guess. But and then we got the VW or the VW Tiger Catapult. Not bad. All right, we got some stuff there. Let's see if Jaden can top us with an ultra rare. Here we go. Jaden Yuki, the Econ enemy controller. Let's see. Is it the first card? Nope. Bubble Man. All right. Very cool. Fusion Sage. Fusion Sage. And the Thunder Giant. So we both got fusions on the third card. They were both rare. So Dark Catapulter. I mean, Thunder Giant's pretty awesome. Back in the day, if you got this, you were pretty pumped. You're like, Elemental Heroes, they're awesome. They suck, but they're awesome. You probably didn't know back then. You probably thought they were good. Okay, let's try IOC Unlimited. I really want CED, BLS, or DMOC. Any of those in original, if they're centered, we're going to grade them. Even though they're unlimited, we would still send them in. See what we can get. All right, as long as they're centered, because if they're not centered, unlimited, not worth it. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Amphibious Bugroth, MK3. That's amazing. Ryu Koki, also a great card. Gale Lizard. DD Borderline, Salty Grey with 2100 defense, the soul of a tiger that is said to devour human souls. He is a famous soul that you wouldn't want to run in into a dark alley. Run into in a dark alley. That's a little bit tongue twister right there. Run into in a dark alley. We have Manju with 10,000 hands. Another problem is I can't see. It's too small. I'm getting old. Can't see what, I, what I'm reading. Uh, Grand Maju Day Eyes. That makes it a little bit hard. And we have Lagunga. All right, Lagunga. All right, Lagunga. Yeah, I see you. Not great. Rise of Destiny, first edition. Let's see if we could pull something amazing. One, two, three, four. Ultimate rare, please. We have Harpy Lady. Not one, not two. Number three. Mogi Mogi King, the king of the Mogi Mogis. Fu Rikazan. Eagle Eye. Raging Flame Sprite. Zing Zen Hu. Mirage Dragoon. Rock from the Valley of Haze, and we have Serial Spell. So we are starting it off nice and slow. We've got an Invasion of Chaos Unlimited. Here we go. Here we go. IOC. One, two, three, four. Last pack magic. We have Cannonball, Spear, Shellfish. Let me know in the comments. Will we pull something right here? DD Borderline. I want to pull Black Lizard Soldier. DMOC. CD would be the best. An original print. Spatial Collapse. We have Ojama Yellow. Griffin's Feather Duster. Inferno. Don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the video so far. Boganian. DNA Transplant. And here we go. Final card. Trap Jammer. All right. It's a foil. These days, getting loose packs, pulling any foil. I mean, I cannot complain. So that is a beautiful looking card. I'm not going to lie. A little bit of scuffing on the back, but not too bad. Beautiful Trap Jammer. I used to run this back in my deck back in the day because I'm like, I'm not going to let you use traps. I'm going to use traps. So I'm going to trap you. Trap jammer you, and I'm going to trap you myself. So that was the plan back in the day. Worked out pretty good on the playground. All right. That was fun. You guys will see a lot of these in future videos, so look forward to it. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.